Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Glock, and welcome back to more Love Esquire. We're now in part 16. Thank you very much, guys, for all the support in this series, and I hope you guys keep it up. Here we go again. We haven't made any progress. I mean, you know, significant progress with Amy and Giselle, which is kind of sad on my part. But for those who support Beatrice and Vel, you guys are having a blast, which is still nice. Okay. Please. How's it going? Amy. Do something for me. Come on. For this episode. For me. Come on. Please. <laughs> Can we talk more about our childhood? Nothing. Oh, I can't. Okay. I'm gonna check out. Oh. oh, man. Another thing with Vel. Now, some of you guys told me that I should spend some time with Kamala as well to unlock some other events. Not just with Kamala, but with the other girls. So, uh, the next time I get my chance with Kamala, I'll, I'll try. But for now, oh man, I don't know. It's a Wednesday. I should be doing something. Ugh. Yeah, might as well spend time, some time with um, Looking good, bro. Amy here. So. Bro, have you been to Serena's shop lately? She's got this fortune telling thing. Really cool stuff. I mean, the tarot cards? When she reads those cards of hers, I mm -hmm. get some really good advice. And do you follow them? Does it come true? None of that's real. You know that, right? Who knows, John? Not true. I'm telling you. She knows stuff, that one. Aided by ancient spirits from a far off land. Mm hmm. Oh, seems like she gets a lot of male customers. Mm, of course. That's because she's hot, Amy. Exactly. Hmm, figures. Wish they'd give us some respect. She's got skills. She sold me this lucky barefoot once. She said if I pray to it every day, it'll bring me the love of my life. And how's that working for you, Amy? And oh. who would that be? I, uh, um, <laughs> well, I don't really know yet. <laughs> it's on the way, Amy. Don't worry. Okay, uh, anyway, look me, at the okay? time. I should get going. <laughs> can still spend some time for three more hours with a random girl. Uh, don't want to take my chances with Vel right now because I might trigger something that will we go way past this date. And, uh, hmm. If we go to the tavern to increase my charisma, it could take four hours. So, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, uh, that's not enough time. I don't know, guys. Shit. This, uh... You know what? Fine. Let's go to Vel. <sighs> Might as well. Vel. Alright. Time to learn how to kill people. Wait, what? Oh, good. Lucky. Hmm? Uh, isn't that... I think the fertility god is still here. What's there? Ha! Time to regain my honor as a squire. I'm wiping that smirk off your face today, shrimp. No hiding, face her head on, jump her, she'll never see me coming. <gasps> never see me coming! I got you now, shrimp! Yeah! I don't know, maybe something awkward might happen, so I chose that. <laughs> hmm? Ah! Get away from me! <clears throat> Ow! Uh, get hit! Y you Not you again! <laughs> I don't have time for you, leave me alone! Wait! We're not done yet! I still need to beat you in! Hey, hey, what's that you're holding? That hammer. What are you doing with it? Mm. I... Uh... Maybe she'll use it as a weapon? I I'm not know. little! I, I didn't even say that! Give that back! Only knights and squires are allowed to use the stuff here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is... Uh... Wait, I know that hammer! Hey, it looks like a... Nice... It's not Mjolnir, but it definitely looks familiar. I'd recognize the three-inch scratch anywhere. There! Right at the center of its handle! Hmm? That's Sir Grant's! Oh, yeah, we still have this theory that they're one that, you know, one person. Oh! Huh? This? Not at all! <laughs> <laughs> you can't fool me! I'm Sir Grant's biggest fan. So what is it, then? Now, hmm? where are you taking that? I mean, what are you? Are you really Sir Grant? Cafe... Because if they're two different people, then I'm taking it as a reference to Full Metal Alchemist, with Vel being Edward and Sir Grand as Alphonse. I, they have the same temperament. Uh, kinda. I don't know. Bye! Go! 
God, I shouldn't have left this here. What the? Hey, are you seriously stealing that? Mm. You're not getting away. Uh, Leave me dude. alone. Get that back, you little thief. I'm not little. Stop calling me that. She is. Come back. I chase after her. She's fast, but it doesn't take long for me to catch up. Ha! <laughs> the hammer's probably weighing her down. <laughs> wow, right through the palace. Jeez. Finally. <laughs> I got you now. Give that up, shrimp. Okay. Okay. Th this isn't what it looks like. Oh, really? Then why the heck did you run? Just let me explain. Mm -hmm. This better be good, Pig Squeak. I, I'm Grand, um. Squire? I'm Sir Grand Squire. Uh -huh. What? Fertility God's balls. Is that true? Yes. Holy balls. So that's who you were talking to back then. Mm -hmm. Sir Grand, your master. Wait. No. <laughs> Hold on a sec. You can't fool me. I'm not that dumb. What do you have here, John? <laughs> uh, of course you aren't. Anyone can say they're Sir Grand Squire. You gotta prove it. Oh, uh, what? Huh? I, uh, well, I was trying to take this hammer to her. Mm -hmm. Where the heck did you run? I'm, uh, supposed to be a, a secret. Yes, that. Mm hmm. He's on to you, Vel. Secret? I was announced as Sir Hugh's squire at the festival! Why would Sir Grand keep you a secret? <laughs> That's because... Because I'm also her... Daughter! Uh, or I'm actually her. I'm also her secret love child! Ooh. What? And that could explain things, but again, why did... I don't know, dude. Holy crap. We're in too deep, John. That's right. So if you care about her reputation, keep quiet about this. No, I'm not buying it. I am not buying it. She, the way she says it, it's, 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 it's way too... I don't know. It's not convincing. By the way, who's the lucky guy? Stop! Th that's too personal. <laughs> okay, okay. Still, anyone can also claim that. If you really are her squire and child, where does she live? So persistent. Seriously? Proof? Or else? This is the second floor of the castle, third door to the right. Oh, God. It, it's right. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I have another one. Ah, oh, stop with this business. Bad boy. <laughs> Only knights and squires know this tale. How did Sir Grand and Sir Hugh kill the wicked? Witch of Cerulea. Uh, there was a witch? What? I. um. Ha ha! Poser! C calm down, will you? If I remember correctly. Oh! She wasn't a witch at all! It was just some old lady with a bad. a bad fungal infection! That. <laughs> That's correct! So nobody got killed. What? Wow! Oh. She really are her daughter! Fertility God's booty! So that's why you're so freakishly strong! <laughs> Don't call me a freak! No. Calm down, John. This might be a trick. Okay, Bell! Ow. God There's damn. one last thing I need to know. Jesus, voice actor, stay away from the mic, dude. <laughs> Another one? I've given you enough proof! I'm the one who gets to decide that! If you really are a squire and daughter, then I'm sure you'd be able to beat me. She already did. Didn't I already beat you? Exactly. That doesn't count. Come on, fight me. Squire to squire. If you really are her squire. Ugh, you're, you're impossible. Wait, we're not yet done here. Crap, there she goes again. You're not getting off easy this time, Vel Scarf. Did I pronounce that right? Scarf, shish, sharp. Ah, back to the barracks, huh? Or not. Tavern, not here either. Damn it. 
that shrimp go? <sighs> Crap. Still no sign of her. What rock did that shrimp hide under? Or water. You should have just fought the boy, child. It would put him in his place. Oh. I'd really rather not. Mm. There she is. I worry about you when you're like this. I taught you how to fight. You could have easily defeated him. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always have to be like that. Haven't you gotten tired of all that fighting we've done, Matilda? Did, did she just say Matilda and not Mommy? <laughs> is, is that Sir Grant's real name? Is Svel with her right now? Jumping Lady of the Lake! As Sir Grant's biggest fan, I have to know. And there's only one way to find out. Val! You're not getting away this time! It... Mm, nice! First the princess and now Val. They're giving us some really nice booty shots. And turns out, I think... We have an enchanted armor here, just like in Full Metal Alchemist. You know, Alphonse's armor is just, you know, it's very hollow. So it's, maybe they have the same, you know, same predicament. And with the red hair and thing, I theorize that Vel is piloting, or maybe just, you know, just to fill up the the hollowness of the, of the armor. She goes inside the armor and then, you know, embodies <laughs> Sir Grand. Hmm? While Sir Grand does, or Matilda, does all the talking. Am I right? Yeah, I think we can pretty much piece together all the puzzle pieces now. So, we Gucci. Did you guys enjoy this scene? Awesome, we're good. Let's continue. You? That's Sir Grand's armor! Do you think that's what's wrong here? <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, 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 this isn't what you're thinking! Herbert! I and swear this isn't- Wait! <laughs> well, I guess you were lucky with, uh, with Princess Beatrice when this happened. Pervert! Pervert! Didn't I tell you it'd be easy? Y yeah Then, shall we get rid of the boy? He's seen us. Oh, you're gonna dispose of my body. Hmm? It is, if you wish to keep us a secret, child. M maybe he hasn't seen everything. You can't be sure of that, my child. You've seen how simple-minded he is. <laughs> He's stupid enough to believe I'm Sir Grand Squire and daughter. It'll be easy to twist that into something. Mm. Please, Matilda, just leave him be. <sighs> Very well. You're still too soft, Val. Sorry. See, she's kind. Ugh, <laughs> oh, my head. Ow! Ow! Crap! Ah, oh, that shrimp! How long was I out? Vel and Sir Grand, huh? Damn it, I need answers! Yay! More progress with Vel. Giselle Jen, do you want a frog? Do you want a little froggy? Do you want a. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh what's wrong? Giselle Jen. Giselle? What are you doing? Cat. Hmm? Huh? Nickel Jen. Oh. Up there. Oh. Oh, so good. Up there. Poor kitty, he looks stuck. How do cats even do that? How can cats get stuck on trees that they climb? I don't understand that. It's always a cliche in most shows. And probably in the real life. I don't know. Most of the cats I see are pretty badass when climbing. Like, they're parkour gods. They can go up and go down with ease. This is a, this is a dumbass cat. It's injured. Ah, so god. Then how the hell did it climb up? Oh, yeah. Its leg looks like it's bleeding. Or probably along the way up. It got itself cut or something. I don't know. Help. I need to save it. I love it when Giselle's gun, you know, gun soft towards other things. Here, um, up on my shoulders. A true I'll blue nurse. Does it discriminate between species? She'll help out anything. Okay. Giselle gets up on my shoulders and I carry her close to the tree. Oh, I wish I was. 
Sana all. <laughs> I wish that was me. Her legs feel nice and cozy around my neck. You lucky bastard, John. Ugh, focus. I'm here, cat. Ouch! Aw, cats don't like Giselle. Giselle? What's happening up there? Or maybe the cat is just an asshole. I don't know, dude. You okay? Whoa, careful. I... I... Oh, stop! Giselle! Stop moving, we're gonna... Ah! Oof! Okay, please give me an awesome scene. Please! You know, I don't care if it's a cliche anime scene, just give me something. Oof! Ouch! My head, I... Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Yatta! Rejoice, my brethren. Feast your eyes with culture. Zetai Rukai! That is... That is nice. That's a nice view. I give it 10 out of 10. Very good. Good job. I'm demonetized again. Damn it. Hmm? Just don't look! I've already seen that many times, so... I didn't see anything, I swear! Yes, you did. <coughs> nice assist, Neko-chan. Uh, oh, look! The, the cat's getting away! What an ungrateful little thing! See, we didn't need to help it. I'm sorry, Giselle. I never knew you were a cat person. Wait. It's because it's a black cat, isn't it? Hmm, <laughs> witches and their affinity to black felines. Yes. Perfect pet for mm, witches. There you go. I knew it! So, does that confirm that she's a witch? Hey, that was a special interaction. Oh, hi. Here, you witch. Um, I don't have anything to give her right now. I can't give her. She likes sour cards and stuff. Hey, here, fine. Have the I frog. I like it. Thanks. Yay! That should give twenty point. Ten points. What the? Fine. Good. Greetings. Um, let's talk more about your research. Maybe you'll so, give me how's the research else. going? Ugh, sometimes your freaking voice gets so loud, John. Take this. What is this? Looks like a potion this time. It has a bead under it. What the hell is that? Some kind of blue liquid this time. Inhale. Oh, instead of some kind of VIX. Uh, Alright. Oh, that stinks! How is this supposed to be? Mind-altering drug. <laughs> Mind-altering? Regressive psychedelic gelatin. Or RPG. Wow. Nice. <laughs> what does that even mean? Are we gonna turn into a baby now? Because you said regressive psychedelic, so it could. Symptoms. Uh, hmm? Symptoms. One. Delusions of grandeur. Feeling. Feeling that the universe revolves around you. Ooh, I know a lot of people like that. 24-7 <laughs> delusions of grandeur. Two. You will begin to hallucinate speech as readable text. Like subtitles. Three. An obsession with binary choices in scheduled meetings. Wow, huh? Are you trying to personally attack me, Giselle? Are you trying to break the fourth wall here? Mm. Four. Reducing abstractions, such as friendship, strength, and intelligence, to numerical statistics. That's pretty specific, Giselle. <laughs> Feel anything? Mm. Well, nothing out of the ordinary. Yep. I see. Experiment failure. Or maybe because we've been suffering from it all this time. On to the next. What, there's more? Eh? <laughs> Always so refreshing. Whenever we interact with Giselle. Alright. Please, Amy, give us something. Oh, man. You know, I'm gonna go to the tavern. I'm gonna train there. Improve my charisma. So that we can one shot those um those doggos beast mode. I don't even have money, dude. Wow. Wow, I don't have money. Jesus. Okay. Um I don't know what to do anymore. I am going to spend some time with Kamala this time. Okay, fine. Let's get her to at least a yellow heart. Kamala Chen! Ah, Squire! Come, Come let us engage, engage in conversation. conversation. The town. Good day, princess. 
Squire, this is perfect timing. I have a question for you. Nani. I did not have the chance to ask Beatrice this, but... That statue of a naked man in the plaza, who is he supposed to be? He's supposed to be the fertility god. Oh, him. He's the fertility god. Ain't he gorgeous? Ah, yes. Your primary deity. Seeing statues of naked men is quite the experience for me, you see. Nothing of the sorts in Alcozi? In Alcos, we erect sculptures of the goddess. Ah. We have multiple statues of her throughout Arcos, her majestic feminine form on full display. Oh, I'd love to see that. You mean, in the nude? <laughs> Why, yes, of course. Much like your fertility god. <laughs> I see. So, a fertility god and a goddess. Nice. Are you all right, squire? You seem to be turning red. Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking how, uh... Alcos! Seems like a great place to live. <laughs> Indeed it is. If the alliance works out, perhaps you too will see it one day. Well, it's, uh, there's a reason why it's called All Cozy. <laughs> that would be awesome! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> 8 p.m. Come on. You gotta do something better than that. Always glad to be of assistance. Here, have a luxurious ring, you bitch. Ah, a splendid gift. Feel free to shower me with more. Did it work? Ah, oh, man, she doesn't like it. Fine. Okay, see you later, girls. Dude, I'm all out of money. Um, should I go back? I don't have money anymore, so I can't really... Ah, uh, can't sell stuff. Damn it. Okay, let me just do one hour from now. Does that make any difference? None. Everyone's asleep. Damn it. Fine. Going home. If that's what you want. We're gonna... We're gonna call this a day, guys. At least we saw something with Giselle. We made some progress with Giselle. That's good. That is good. There you go. <sighs> We've been getting panty shots and ass shots for the past... Three episodes. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> okay, let me just check. Thursday 10th. Okay, nothing much to do. Alright, so I am going to end this episode here, guys. Just a short 20-minute episode for all of y'all. I think I think a, a, a booty shot and a panty shot from Vel and Giselle is enough for one day. <laughs> I don't even know which one to use as a thumbnail. So guys, I am looking forward to uh, the continued support on this series. And don't forget to subscribe and watch the latest videos in our new channel. The Pinoy's Place channel. It's now up. There's pacifying GTA 5 video uploaded. Watch it. Share it with your friends. Click its notification bell so that you guys can get notified for the next episode. And uh, I hope you guys give your full support there as well. Because we want it to be the best gaming channel here in the philippines so we need all the help we can get all right guys i'm counting on you thank you very much guys i'll see you guys next time bye bye